Deciding amongst the hundreds of sound control products on the market isn't easy. Examining the offerings, you'll see that they're basically divided into two distinct categories, sound absorption and sound blocking. Sound absorption deals with the use of materials to eliminate echoes or reverberation. The effectiveness of the sound absorption material depends on its thickness and what it's made of. The more breathable a material, the better absorption it provides. Lower frequency sounds are the most difficult to absorb, but luckily they're the least bothersome. Mid and high frequencies, on the other hand, are much easier to absorb. While sound absorption does improve the quality of sound and can lower its intensity, it does not block sound transmission. That's where sound blocking comes in. Sound blocking involves stopping sound waves from passing into areas where they aren't wanted. The effectiveness of a sound blocking material depends on its mass and what it's made of. Sound blocking frequently involves construction and sound barrier material installation, like Audimute Peacemaker. Installing Peacemaker during the initial construction or renovation of your space is the best way to keep sound where it belongs and block out distractions. Remember, sound blocking and sound absorption are very different. Often combining absorption and sound blocking materials will deliver the best results. To learn more, please call us or visit us at audimutesoundproofing.com. <laughs>